last couple, Nigel. I feel like I'm squeezing you dry here. But you mentioned the impl implementation of the traffic light zones yeah. on a match day. The match day experience is going to completely change for everybody, isn't it? Oh, abs abs absolutely, absolutely. Uh, we've been looking at where where the where the zones might be. So, for instance. Under the current regime, uh, red you've got to have a, a, a test on a Thursday to get into the red zone, for instance. So uh, if you were interviewing the manager, where does that fit with you? Do you have to have a test to get to interview the manager? How's that work with the radio? What, what, what safeguards have they got? So everything has to join together. Uh, lots of change, but the rule, rules on that are a bit still to be, still might get amended. So we'll, we'll have to we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I think uh, what is for sure is the the less the less cases there are, uh, the fewer spikes and the fewer lockdowns in isolation that there are, the more relaxed people can be about the safeguards. If there's more more of this virus out there, then the safeguards are going to get higher and the bars are going to get higher. And that's been clear from the the safety authorities' guidance. They've made it clear that we're not going to get a capacity signed off for a certain level of fans, and that's it. It's going to be a moving feast. And if if Carlisle peaks and we get some more cases, we as a club are going to have to go to the SAG and consider how that impacts on our capacity and the number of people that we allow in and uh, who we allow in. And they've made that clear. So these are the things where, as we've seen, I mean, we've done, we've done, we've been great to be able to offer testing on the site for for the community with the with the army and, and stuff like that. Uh, so we're kind of seeing firsthand the, the throughput of tests going in. We've worked with the council and and Carlisle partnership to promote the testing, and also to. Uh, to get the messages out about social distancing and then when the testing's ramped up to sign to say you use our reach to say if you've been in these pubs or bars or wherever get tested here they are so people can get alert to them but we're seeing firsthand the number of people who are coming through our site getting tested and that 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 that's this this, this is real so that it hasn't gone away we might not be we might not be seeing it as live because it's not making the headlines, but it hasn't gone away, and locally, it might be more active than we actually believe. And when when the evidence does emerge, it might have been there all the time, but people just finally see it. When they wake up to it, they react to it. So the, the easiest way is to we've got to got to get rid of this, got to keep it crushed.